today is not um, it's not a good day Last night knocked me hard. Rather than hide away from the world though, I'd managed to muster up enough motivation to get back in the driver's seat and carry on. Whether that was a good move or not, I don't know, because I was not focused. I was so zoned out I missed a pretty important turning. What's worse is I didn't notice this for half an hour, so now I was miles off course. Not helping that feeling of being totally useless. My best option now was to come off this motorway and take some country roads, weaving back up to try and find the road that I should be on to Warrabru. My only saving grace were the country roads that turned out to be stunning. Some, weirdly, even looked a lot like Portugal. I don't know if it was loneliness or a need to occupy my mind, but it was on these roads that I did something I've never done before. I picked up a hitchhiker named Ruben. Great to meet you. <laughs> Lance? <laughs> oh, great. There we go. So great. So, thank you very much. No um, worries. It's been oh, a pleasure I thought, being I thought of like giving you something. No, no, don't oh, worry. Don't okay, okay, okay. Not a problem. Thank you very much. I was much. going this way anyway. All right. Yeah, also, so if you want to take the fast road, yeah. I'm just going to show you that. Um, so, from here, it's really easy. It's actually just going down here and then you will see a sign like after this uh, this uh, gas station like mm -hmm. it's uh, yeah it's not far from there you just turn left yeah then you go out to the fast road Straight otherwise it's just up there and then you will see the signs and so this is like the old road so uh, you the decide road. yeah i will check it out yeah you decide <laughs> you decide man i will see if i get out <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it's <laughs> Big old batteries in the way. Yeah. Have a great trip and nice to Thank you. Nice you. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Turns out this meeting really did the trick. I've never really done the hitchhiker thing, but it turns out he wasn't actually a hitchhiker. He was just trying to get home from work, and the buses are um, pretty spread apart. Just saw the thumb. And I don't know what it was, it's, I just saw bollocks to it, saw where he was going, he was on the route, so we had a lovely little chat. And he's, uh, he's gave me some spots on the way to go and see, so yeah, it was, really, it was really nice. He did have to straddle over Bjorn and Ingrid, that was awkward, and then Lance sort of jumped on his, oh shit, I just missed the turn he told me to get on. And then Lance just absolutely mullered him. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry. I was going to tell him to sit in the back and then I thought that's kind of weird, creepy murderer vibe, so he, he managed to sit there sideways. But um, yeah, nice little chat. Now I'm going to try and spin around because I've just missed me turning. I'm just going to go ahead and use this footage of me freaking out about a potential police car following me to explain that after my 110 mile detour, I made it to Warrabrook on nightfall, pulled into the town's camper stop ready to grab some gas in the morning. God, that's better. <clears throat> I've just got out of the shower because I stunk. I got really conscious when uh, I picked. <sighs> Reuben. Got his name again. God damn it. Reuben. I was like, oh my God, keep your pits down because you stink. Um, I'm basically in Auto Brew now um, with the intention of going to get LPG tomorrow. But I've been gone on. Google Street View, they've got an opening times board, and my LPG app is wrong. It's not open tomorrow. So, when I first saw that, I was sort of like, oh man, I've like made that wrong turn in because I was coming here. I and mean, come off the motorway, and I've used like half a tank today to sort of circle back and get to Orenborough on all the back roads. Um, just to be 
the, I'm in like another camper stop now where I don't really want to be. I want to be in, in the wild. But then I'm like, well, I've driven some amazing roads today. I got to pick up your man and we had a nice little chat. He's then gave me a few places, um, hopefully to get around and visit. I've just had a chat with my neighbors here. They are offering me food and all sorts of stuff. They're very nice. Um, you know, it's like, it's not a loss. I'm not gonna get like, oh, f it. I've just, you know, buggered up a day. Because it's not, I'm, I'm wondering. And sometimes things just click and work well. Other times things don't quite work out. I just don't want to run that risk and, and get way up there and, and not be able to fill it. And it's that aspect that's annoying me now. I was hoping to get it done yesterday, so it was just one less thing. You know, I, I'm terrible for getting the thought in my head and then it'll that overtakes everything else. And that's what's happened today. I didn't really, the day just shot by and I was just there like LPG, LPG, I've got to get LPG. Blah, blah. So it's that aspect that I'm annoyed about today. I've let myself get tunnel visioned onto a thing that's probably not even going to be an issue. But to be fair, had I not worried about it today, I wouldn't have saw the roads. Uh, I wouldn't have met Ruben. Looking on the map, I have covered a fair bit of ground again today. I'm not going to, you know... I, if you're going to do that, I might as well while I wait. This is shit. mileage I've been doing is about time I checked on the vital fluids also um, my headlights one seems to be way up in the sky and the other doesn't and I'm not sure why so I've just got the backs of them off having a look here's a mower and here's the cable for it so that's a very easy fix as to why they're not working rear covers on the backs of the lights how do you work explain to me your magic and wizardry I got warned yesterday about not delving too far down the um, the off-road tracks because the snow is melting and they're getting super boggy now which is a valid point except when you look around today and you just hard to think there would be snow but uh, then again last night was bloody cold a bull's royal so I pulled up close to this camper that was next to us uh, last night thinking, oh well there might be more campers coming so I'll get over and then there's another space. What I didn't realise is what I'd done is just in a whole car park where I could have parked in so many different other places, I just parked next to this dude and then stuck my diesel later on. That's something that would piss me off if it was roll reversed. <laughs> so about 11 o'clock at night I was like do I move but if I move I'll start the engine and that's more noise. Uh, I've got myself in the right bloody to do. As I finished up my checks around the van, another neighbour came over to see if I was okay, and we wound up talking. It turned out that she was another van lifer and was inbound to Portugal, and oh, the powder coat did a fantastic job on this f***ing wheel, didn't he? I'll finish this point on the road. I just had a lovely chat with, uh, there was a little Ducato uh, 
uh, panel van parked next to me all night and uh, as I was doing my fluid checks uh, the girl inside come over and she ended up coming to have a look in the van and all that sort of stuff again didn't put the camera on so I don't want to just slam cameras in people's faces but uh, she was really nice and she wants to go to Portugal so we were talking about all that told her about a few of the communes that um, I know about you know as much as Lance is great company you've got to have some human interaction on these things otherwise you just go a bit loopy and I was actually saying to her, I never caught her name, but I was saying to her, um, uh, she said about how to travel with a dog, and I goes, it's amazing because I'm quite an introverted person, but I talk to so many people because the dog has run over to them. And then we both laughed because it, that's exactly what happened, that, what got us talking, Lance ran over to her, and, uh, <laughs> and we got to talking, so. Having you around, mate, keeps me social, doesn't it? Right, today I'm going to make up for some lost time. There's probably not going to be a lot of footage until I get to my destination, wherever that may be. Um, but yeah, I need to get the hammer down now and get some get some mileage covered. And some LPG, which I can only get tomorrow. Uh, today is Sunday. Everywhere is shut, including the place I thought was open. So now it's back on the motorway. Because I want to get rural. This isn't rural. So after a brief overnight, it was good by Orobrew and next stop Sundsvall. But as I hit the motorway, there was a new thing for me to overthink and worry about. I avoid the news like the plague, but do know that things are a little treacherous right now. So seeing in the region of 80 army trucks all carrying tanks, ATVs, troop carriers, and all manner of equipment in a convoy that took about half an hour to pass and in a country that's relatively near to Russia wasn't all that pleasant but it turned out the only attack for today was on my windscreen oh what there's a new chip on the windscreen thanks Volvo another pullover for you've guessed it a Lance Wee and to check this damage Not ideal, but nothing to be done about it today. What I did need to do was get fuel. Oh, look at that. Uh, fill up number four, I think, I don't know. 1500, no, 1300 sec. And also got a can of Coke and a mint plop. <laughs> I can't get over just how many American vehicles there are here. Swedish seem to love their vehicles, especially old and like muscle cars. I've seen Camaros, I've seen pickups, Mustangs, uh, a Charger in the uh, petrol station just now. I was going to go up to the, the dude, but he seemed to be having trouble getting his petrol pump in from the, it was, you know, he had to fill it from underneath the rear edge plate. So I was dying to go and have a look, but he looked a little frustrated and I thought, he doesn't want some British guy being like, hello! And they just kept on coming. And coming. And coming. It got to a point where there was more American cars on the road than not. And then all the local petrol stations were filled with them. I promised myself I was making up for last time today, but I really wanted to dip in and have a look. Ooh, a few more. So we pressed on. We got away from the big towns and certain big stores that I'd heard a lot about. We'll be visiting those later. And the more north we got, the more the landscape changed from flat farmlands to, well, more interesting. A lot more interesting. Accompanied by being noticeably colder. Now I feel like I'm in the north.
Are they... Are they begging for food? Stay. Ah! Stay. Having a quick look around, Lance almost made a massive blunder. Come here. Bloody tit. You'll go through. I think. Stay. Oh, they are begging. Oh, I bet that's cold on the old teeth, mate. Oh, hello. Oh, me. <laughs> I've just left the keys in the ignition. What a dickhead, I'm off for a walk. Oh, that would be very awkward. And you. Taking Lance for a quick stroll and seeing a guy do a mid-transit workout routine. I'm not sure why there's a guy doing push-ups. We got back in to carry on. This lake was stunning, but it wasn't the out-of-the-way wild spot that I wanted. What it was though was an indication that things were about to get very different. Now we've got to put it in gear. There we go, and we move. Pedestrians in the road. Thank you. From here on out, it was very difficult to keep your eyes on the road and not on the scenery. As per usual, I've got my podcasts on, which accidentally synced up to make the best clip I've ever caught. Can we remind our passengers that the use of bit stimulators on hand air is strictly prohibited, but can be used in the toilets if popped on airplane mode. Further up we went, the snow was only getting thicker, but we were starting to lose the light, and then we lost the tarmac. The park up I was heading to tonight should definitely tick the out there box, but the road to it was interesting to say the least. Just be careful here so not to go in the ditch. And as I was warned, icy and sludgy. But a fair way down this squirrely road, it all paid off, as the park up at the end was... Ooh. God. Well, this will do. <laughs> Lance, come on. Nothing beats finding a path up. Uh, that's just incredible. And when it's got stuff like that. Whoa. Seriously? Again? You're gonna freeze your tongue, boy. I've always been fascinated by boats and ships. And as a kid, wanted to get up close to a ship's propeller to see it in detail. In this scenario, dry dock, you know, not like the water and active. That's the thing of nightmares. But seeing my short ass next to Ophelia's propeller puts it all into perspective. It was huge. But Lance was more interested in the white stuff. Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's gonna remove your bag of shit, it stinks. What are you found then? I think this will do us home for tonight. In the road we come down. We have 4G. If it's coming up, not that bit, but there. 
is Finland. That looks so strange. Man, what a place. date by six months be all right come on come on oh. <laughs> and now you know why my stove's always dirty the classic beans on toast a bit of cheese a bit of the impairing oh you pooped buddy hey eh? you absolutely pooped i bet you were after all that running Lighter now, though. Yeah, put his bed down there because his cove is getting quite cold. I'm glad I persevered. I very nearly turned round when I started seeing the, the road. But pff, what a spot! I um, I've been in a bit of an internal war with myself the past couple of days pushing me to and fro between you're not doing enough work you're not getting up you know putting enough mileage in these new videos this podcast you're not doing this you're not doing that blah 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 and then uh, it just hit me today stood out there looking out at the <laughs> the vastness like why am I getting worried about it why am I just why am I not just being here in the moment and the moment and once that thought came into my head um, just this massive feeling of just peace and I had a big deep breath in big back out and I was like shit man it's Sunday <laughs> why why can I not just enjoy this drive and come here and uh, I don't know it's the thing that brings me a lot of discomfort imposter syndrome Makes me question, you know, life and what I'm doing. The bully. I think that's why this trip's come at just the right time, because being out on the road again shows me what I'm doing is what I want to do. Oh. Huh. 
I've already got it out. Oh, come on. One thing today has done is just pooped me out. And uh, I'm going to chill now. I think tomorrow I'm not going to drive, at least for the most of the day. I may do some driving at night. Yeah, man, just chill here for a, for a day and enjoy it. Because I'm here for a reason. Not just to <laughs> At this point I lost my trail of thought, but I'm pretty sure that point ended with not just to make content. And with that, here's the most Instagram TikTok bollocks transition ever. your mouth out while you're at it. You got horrible morning breath. Gave me a kiss this morning, almost killed me. <laughs> Get your propeller on. Go on then. Off into the Baltic Sea with you, boy. Feel my hands now. The town just up the road is the town with uh, LPG. The last town with LPG. Um, <clears throat> so I was going to drop in there and then carry on. But after making this find, I'm feeling staying. I'm feeling having a day off. I've been pushing myself. The van, especially, she's been doing great. And Lance, you know, who. Are you having fun? <laughs> Two of us, at least, are tired. I think we're gonna have a bit of a day here. That's one of the coldest nights I've experienced in a long, long time. I think the last time was up at. Um, up in the Alps in 2018 and we're not at altitude <laughs> it was just poor all the pod frosted over 
Yeah, it was uh, it was a cold one last night. I mean, it may look beautiful, but I'm I'm in three layers right now. Um, that's not something I do very often. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. There's a new day to take away your sorrow. Out by the rain, darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise you this if you try to get some. If you give up the fight, if only just for a bit, there's a new day. All in the tracks are remaining. It is waiting for us. There's a new day, and it Imagine it back in the day, all hustle and bustle, little steam train bellowing down here. I doubt the road in has changed much since back then. <laughs> Wouldn't mind being the train driver on this route. Lance, heel. Heel! Your nose is in trouble. Your ears are big enough. Use them. Heel. Some of you may not have liked that, but the reality of giving Lance this level of freedom and trust comes with a good telling off when he pushes too far. He's my dog and a pack animal, not a Disney character. There's a frozen lake. civilization. As we got closer to this museum town, the dangers of the walk we just took become even more apparent as signs like this were dotted everywhere. Oh, whoops. Museum station. Tracks don't go to that anymore. No sign of a steam engine, but there's some carriages left. Brand new. I have no idea what this place is, and all the signs are in Swedish, so I'm not going to pretend like I do and talk you through this bit. If you know what this amazing looking place is, let me know. A load of these bands have got um, plates on them. There's one there, 2008. The one around was uh, 90s. There's a 2009 there. They must have to keep attaching these straps to shore it up so it doesn't fall down. I mean, given its age, it's doing well. Water wheels frozen solid. Wow. Don't even know what's through there, but we ain't getting through there. Just imagine this place. Steam train going by. This place just chucking black out. Loads of people working, the heat, the fire, the noise. Now I'm just at peace. Just around the corner from there, we found the elusive steam train. 
Oh, look how small it is. Loki. Oh, oh marvellous. I need one of those. Douche. <laughs> Yeah, this place very much has a feel of um, getting ready for the season. <laughs> but they don't really get many visitors here at the moment. Just me. I was loving this spot and so happy I'd stayed for the day. And it still blows my mind that I had this place completely to myself. I didn't see a soul. So I decided to stay tonight too. Got the fire going, drying out tonight's wood. The sun was out so solar was good, but the van wasn't quite charging enough. Once I spun around, the ants jumped straight up. And even though I was getting 4G, I wanted to save some data, so got the Skynet out. Better view. Busy day. Time for lunch. Salami. Cough. So I just stand completely in the way. I'll move around you, shall I, buddy? There's something very different about that Baltic Sea that I can't put my finger on. Even in its vastness, it doesn't move. It's like glass, and you just get kind of lost looking at it but its biggest party piece is in the evening when the sun goes down. It was just a day for me and Lance. Until about five where I started sorting out filing. Don't ask me, I have no idea. I was supposed to be working on the work-life balance and then this happened. But ultimately, I think it's a good sign. I've been putting off sorting my paperwork for a long time. Zero motivation to sort any of that sort of stuff out. And it was in every nook and cranny of the van. We're in that filing stuff. Uh... It was time to shed some out of date weight. Before I knew it, I was a sorting machine and stumbled over all kinds of things from the past. Some were needed, filed away properly. Some would have been very handy to have six months ago when I needed like warranty cards and shit like that. Photos, receipts and trinkets triggering old memories. Some good, some very not good. And then it was back to that chill I was on about earlier. That evening though I still had a pile of paperwork remaining. I wanted to take advantage of the fire pit outside. And it's at this time of night where the Baltic kind of disappears. You can no longer tell where the sea ends and the sky begins. In this lot contained all sorts of old documents and memories. Just old life shit. Things from past jobs, an old tribunal I'd won against a dickhead boss, paperwork and marketing stuff from my old failed business, trinkets from failed relationships, a rebate from the tax man of a thousand pounds after he took a thousand pounds off me by force, legal documents from the two crash for cash scams I was a victim of, lost them both, ripped my insurance off, lost my cars. I could never have known at the time, but all of these horrible things steered me onto a path it's highly unlikely I'd have ever bought the van or ever gone around Europe in it, ever experienced this different lifestyle and decided to go with it. The path to where I'm sat right now, sat next to the Baltic Sea in Sweden, where I could take all of these thoughts in, reflect on them without my visitor and finally let them all go. <laughs>